What is happening guys, this is Rob, and for this first episode of Game Dev Bits, we're gonna take a look at how to pick up objects in Unity using physics. Before we get started, just a small premise, there are obviously many ways to go about solving this issue, some easier than others, but I feel like this particular solution worked quite well, uh, without being too complex or presenting many of the issues that you could have if you, for example, use parenting. All right, moving on. The script will be broken down in a few different sections. This way, you can decide which pieces you want and which other you want to skip. The features of the system are the following. Pick up an object that follows a point around. Retains momentum on release. Correctly impacts with other objects. Break the connection on impact. Break the connection on distance and rotate the object to face the player. The preparation is actually really simple. First off, you will need to make a new layer. I called mine Interactable. Then you can make the two strips. The first is the main controller one, which I called Player Interaction. You can place this wherever you like, but personally I prefer to have it on the player. The second one I called Physic Object, and this will be on every object that needs to be picked up, and will handle breaking on impact. So you really need it if you want that feature, otherwise you can ignore it. Don't forget to set the object layer to the new one you created and add a rigid body with interpolate option set to interpolate. Let's start taking a look at our script. Here at the top I broke down variables into four sections. We have variables to check whether or not we're looking at an interactable object, some to hold information about the object we pick up and other that deal with the physics follow and rotation. Now if we take a look at the inspector, we can see the variables we define and some of the values I set. The most important bit here is to define the layer index to what you created earlier and create an empty transform under your player camera with the desired Z offset and assign it to pick up parent. This is the transform our object will follow. Ok, let's now dive into the script and see what happens there. First, in the start function, we simply get the main camera and assign it to our variable. I did this because calling camera main every frame is a waste of performance. After that, we have the Andro gizmos. This is completely optional. I use it just to see more clearly where the pickup parent is in the scene while I play the game. Now for the update function. Here we simply grab the center of camera, convert it to a word point, and use it to do a sphere cast against the interactable layer we define, so we can see if we're looking at an object we can pick up. Note that I'm using sphere cast instead of ray cast. You can think of sphere cast as ray cast with thickness, and it becomes very useful for things like these, where the ray cast would be too finicky to aim. After we check if we're looking at any object, we're gonna see if the player presses a button. In this instance, I'm using Fire 2, which by default is right mouse button, but you can use whatever you like. If the user presses a button and is not holding anything and also looking at an interactable object, call the pickup method. We'll look at that soon. Alternatively, if the player presses the button and has an object picked up, we release it. The last bit of the update functions controls whether or not the object should be dropped based on distance. This is very useful because if the object gets stuck somewhere like behind a wall and the player keeps moving, then the object will be released. Again, this is completely optional, and if you guys don't want it, you can just ignore it. Time for the pickup function. In here, you can see that we grab the physics object script from the interactable we're looking at. Then, we assign the object and its frigid body to our variables. We freeze the rotation constraints to prevent accidental rotation with a wand, and assign the player interaction script inside the physics object. We then tell the object that it's being picked up, this coroutine inside the physics object simply allows for a brief time frame in which breaking from collision is disabled. This is because at times the object will register a collision with the ground as soon as you pick it up. In the break connection function, we simply release the rigid body constraints and set the current picked up object back to null. Once that's done, we tell the physics object that it's not being picked up anymore and reset the current distance of the object to zero. This is important to prevent the script from breaking off the connection as soon as we pick up a new object. And finally, here we are, physics. 
Inside the fixed update function, we're doing a few simple calculation if we're currently picking up an object. First, we check what's the distance between picked up object and the transform it follows. Then, we calculate the current speed with the smooth step function and multiply it with fixed delta time. Once that's out of the way, we find which direction we want to apply the force by subtracting the object rigid body position from the target. And after that, we simply add the direction times the speed to our rigid body velocity. Easy as that! The last bit inside a fixed update deals with rotation. Like I previously mentioned, it's not a necessary feature, but it's nice to have. The look rotation creates a rotation with given forward, the direction to look at, and upward, the vector that defines which way is up. In this case, we only define the forward direction by subtracting the rigid body position from the camera position. Then, we slurp between the camera rotation and the previously found look rotation. We do this based on the rotation speed we define in the inspector, times fixed delta time. Finally, we apply the rotation to our pickup rigid body with the move rotation method. And voila! The script is done. As a last thing, I want to take a quick look at the physics object class. We already seen what a pickup coroutine does. The only other thing is the onCollisionEnter function. Here, when the object impacts with something and is currently picked up, we break the connection if the impact force is above a certain threshold that we define in the inspector. And that's it! Thanks for tuning in for this first episode of Game Design Bits! I really appreciate it and I hope you learned something of value from this. I highly encourage everyone to subscribe for future content, comment and suggest subjects for new videos. Any feedback is appreciated. Also, don't forget that the description will hold both timestamps and a link to the finished scripts, in case you wanted to take a closer look. That said, goodbye and see you next time!